How to use your subconscious mind. You can't suddenly be somewhere. When you are in a restaurant, choosing the menu you want and also where you will sit, everything within seconds or minutes must first appear, be processed and pictured in your mind and then form a reality or reality. You come to Padang restaurant. Choose the fried chicken menu and sit in the right corner while watching television. It all starts with a thought. That means you all have to think carefully, really plan, make sure, choose what you should and deserve to put in your mind. Knowledge of the interaction of the conscious mind and subconscious mind will enable you to change your entire life. In order to change external conditions, you must change the cause. Most people try to change conditions by working with them. In order to free yourself from contention, confusion, weakness, and limitations, you must change the cause, and the cause is the way you use your conscious mind. Or in other words, the way you think and picture things in your mind. When you think correctly, when you understand the truth, when the thoughts that are stored, planted in your subconscious mind are constructed, harmonious and peaceful thoughts, then the power of your subconscious mind that works magically will respond and brings harmonious, pleasant and good conditions in all things. When you begin to control your thought processes, you will be able to apply the power of the subconscious mind to any kind of difficulty. In other words, you are actually cooperating consciously with the infinite power of almighty law that shapes all things. Your subconscious mind is a principle and works according to the laws of belief. All your experiences, events, conditions and actions or reactions of the subconscious mind to the beliefs of your thoughts. Thoughts, ideas or ideas or actions and the reaction is the response of your subconscious mind. Therefore from now on sow thoughts of peace, happiness, right actions, goodwill, and well-being. Think about all that with earnest, intense interest, and full acceptance in your conscious mind. Keep planting the seeds of good thoughts in the garden of your mind, and you will reap a bountiful, glorious harvest. Your subconscious mind can be likened to soil that will grow all kinds of seeds, both good and bad. All thoughts are causes, and conditions are effects. Stop believing in wrong beliefs, opinions or views and human fears. Busy yourself with concepts of harmony, health, peace, goodwill, and miracles will happen in your life. Anyone who applies the principles of the subconscious mind will be able to pray scientifically and effectively for himself and others. Your prayers are answered according to the universal law of action and reaction. Peace of mind and a healthy body are inevitable when you start thinking and feeling in the right way. Whatever you mentally claim and feel to be true, your subconscious mind will accept and give birth 
to it in your experience. Peace of mind and a healthy body are inevitable when you start thinking and feeling in the right way. Whatever you mentally claim and feel to be true, your subconscious mind will accept and give birth to it in your experience. You receive orders or decisions and your subconscious mind will transmit or reproduce correctly faithfully the ideas that are implanted. This is the law of your mind. You will get a reaction or response from your subconscious mind according to the nature of the thought or idea that you attach to your subconscious mind. Your wishes or dreams are like date seeds. You can put it in a jar and store it on the ceiling of the house. The date seeds will stay alive because they contain life. But if you store it too long, leave it or plant it in the wrong way and in the wrong place, it is difficult to expect the date seeds to survive let alone grow. Awaken and establish connection with the subconscious mind. Areas of the conscious mind and subconscious mind. The area of the conscious mind and subconscious mind that is meant is certainly not an objective area or place for your mind, but just a visual image to facilitate your understanding of how the process or dynamics of awakening and connecting with the subconscious mind. Your thoughts can be likened to an iceberg. The part of the iceberg that is visible or appears to be towering over the surface of the sea is the conscious mind. Meanwhile, the invisible part of the iceberg hidden beneath is your subconscious mind. This hidden part of the iceberg is much larger than the part that appears on the surface. More than just a big, invisible part or your subconscious mind that holds powerful, creative, intelligent, creative, and determining forces of your life and daily habits. In more detail we can describe your thoughts in a circle that includes three sections or layers. The first layer or the outermost layer is your conscious mind. Your conscious mind is a logical mind that deals with reasoning and logic will an awareness of reality. You think with the conscious mind which is the planner, sender of messages and orders to your subconscious mind. The second layer is your critical mind which will determine whether ideas, ideas, suggestions or messages are allowed to be accepted by your subconscious mind. Critical mind will analyze, question, block the entry of ideas into your subconscious. The third layer or the deepest layer is your subconscious mind which is related to energy and creation, creative mind that does whatever your conscious mind plans. The subconscious mind simply responds to what is conveyed, impressed, requested, and decided by your conscious mind, without arguing or making choices. When you or someone else says to you, I see you have potential. I'm sure you can finish college in three and a half years with amazing grades. 
when the statement comes from other people's lips or from your own mind, then your conscious mind may have agreed, accepted, and believed it. When that belief is continually repeated, strengthened, and clearly delineated, it will sink in, embedded in your subconscious mind and at that moment the subconscious mind starts working to make it happen. However, it is very possible that suddenly or a few hours later, your critical mind says, oh, you don't dream. Finishing college in three and a half years is not an easy thing. Studying hard, going to college every day, multitasking is hard and boring. Also the lecturers, too stingy in giving grades. Not to mention when the thesis, you still have to repeat many times. You won't be able to finish college in three and a half years. So, just forget about that unreasonable wish. Your critical mind will bombard you with statements, reasons, and convincing evidence that you will not be able to realize your dreams and desires. Positive ideas or messages, you can finish college in three and a half years and with amazing grades not only don't enter and stick in your subconscious mind, but are replaced with negative ideas and messages, you can't finish college in three, half year. Because of that negative message that is then subconsciously embedded in the subconscious mind, then what happens is that you really can't finish college in three and a half years. Many things are circumstances that then help you to fail, because failure has actually become your goal and dream. Failure is a command that your conscious mind gives your subconscious mind, to carry out which can't argue, make a choice, except carry it out. From the description it seems very clear that in order to utilize, awaken, and establish a connection with the subconscious mind consciously and in a planned manner, you must penetrate, cross the walls of your conscious mind and your critical mind so that your ideas, messages, desires, dreams or your positive beliefs can freely enter and be embedded in the subconscious mind. That way, you have consciously used, planned, selected, decided what ideas would be implanted in your subconscious mind. The conscious and planned use of the subconscious mind is intended to distinguish from ideas, ideas, desires, emotions and habits that unconsciously unplanned enter and take root into the subconscious mind forming reality in accordance with the message implanted by the subconscious mindconscious mind. When a person's conscious mind repeatedly says that he will not be able to speak English, then even though it is not planned, to be implanted in the subconscious mind, that idea will subconsciously be embedded in the subconscious mind which will manifest the condition of not being able to in English language. Instead by planning, intentionally entering the subconscious mind, that means through the conscious mind, you choose, determine what ideas or ideas you really want, to imprint in the subconscious mind. Like a farmer, 
You consciously choose the best seeds, thoughts, ideas, desires, plant them in fertile land, subconscious mind, and know what to do. Techniques for caring for dreams, desires. To be able to utilize generate connect with the subconscious mind consciously and deliberately, you have to penetrate, cross the walls of the conscious mind and the critical mind. The question is how to penetrate across the conscious mind and the critical mind. Or in other words, how can we enter the subconscious mind? Before answering that question, we will first discuss about brain waves that indicate the activity of your brain or thoughts. If the areas of the conscious and subconscious mind describe the place of the conscious and subconscious mind, then the brain waves further, describe its activity, it then becomes a clue, must be at what frequency your brain waves so that you can enter, or be in the subconscious mind, brain waves. Our brain activity can be detected using a device called an electroencephalograph e, e, G, which produces recordings of electrical activity called brain waves. The pattern or recording of brain waves will change in line with what someone is doing. When you drive a car, pray, or fall asleep, your brain waves show a different frequency of brain waves. Brain wave frequency is measured in hertz, hz, or cycles per second, cps. Based on research, there are four patterns of human brain waves that show different brain activity, namely beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Beta is the brain wave with the highest frequency, roughly between 14 to 20 Hz. This occurs when you are awake, or in a normal state, of consciousness to respond to be aware of or interact with the environment around you. You are in this beta wave when you are carrying out daily activities, such as discussing, analyzing, thinking about many things, driving a car, making decisions and various activities related to normal daily life. Next is the alpha wave whose frequency is slower than the beta wave, which is approximately 8 to 13 Hz. This happens when you are relaxed, relaxed, comfortable, free from burdens, worries, and fears. This condition can be said to be a gateway to enter and awaken the power of your subconscious mind to the fullest. This is the place where you can start sowing the seeds of dreams, desires, or describe, shape yourself as you want. Next the theta waves with a frequency of approximately 4 to 7 Hz. This happens when you are dreaming or in a deep meditative state. In that state, you will feel a sense of peace, serenity, happiness and connection with your greatest potential. Your potential, creativity, emotions that are not utilized or suppressed are buried in the subconscious mind. Being on this wave, you can awaken, 
reuse your hidden potential or creativity, including fixing your physical psychological problems. The last is the delta wave with a frequency of 0.5 minus 3 Hz. This happens when you are fast asleep or in an unconscious state. Being in this delta state is also an important part as a space, where we can rest our body and mind completely so that you have the strength to get back on track with life. From the description it seems clear that to be able to penetrate, or enter the subconscious mind, you must be on the alpha and delta waves. The question is how to get to the alpha, theta and delta waves. The answer is relaxation, visualization, and suggestion. In principle, there are various ways you can do to achieve a state of relaxation and deep meditation. This is also related to the problem that one person may find it easier or faster to achieve a relaxed state with certain techniques, while others may feel disturbed. However, in general there are several relaxation procedures and techniques that will be presented here and you can try them. Whatever relaxation procedures and techniques you learn, the most important thing is that you have a strong will to keep practicing so that you will be skilled and easy to be in a relaxed state anytime, anywhere and under any conditions. That way, you can easily and quickly build and plant the seeds of dreams or positive ideas, both in the conscious mind and in the subconscious mind. When you are used to thinking right, believing in the right things, and consciously placing yourself in a state of calm, happiness and peace, then your desires and dreams can slide freely, enter, and be embedded in your subconscious mind. More than that, you can also awaken the creative forces hidden deep within you. Alright, I'm going to start outlining some relaxation techniques. First, master your body the connection between our mind and body has been going on for a very long time at least since we have been able to understand the conception of the body and the disturbances or imbalances that occur in our bodies easy to understand if there is something wrong with the body our mind will also be disturbed, uncomfortable, restless, anxious, afraid, and so on. In relaxation what is needed is a union of mind and body, until you feel that you are nothing but the mind. Therefore, the first thing you have to do is take control of your body, by channeling the energy of the mind to all parts of your body. Release the tension, feel the comfort envelop all parts of your body. Second, close your eyes. Your eyes are very sensitive to a stimulus or a stimulus which can then easily spread, be sent to the brain and make your mind focused and process the stimulus. This will certainly disturb your concentration. When your mind is divided or filled with various objects, it will not only keep you glued to the beta waves, 
conscious mind, but it will also be increasingly difficult to approach the alpha theta waves subconscious mind. Therefore, close your eyes to avoid stimuli that disturb your concentration. Third, breathing. Take a deep breath in slowly, focusing or collecting on the inside of the chest. Hold it for a moment and exhale slowly. Every time you inhale, feel as if you are enjoying all the good things in this universe. Feel, enjoy, and be aware of your breath. Fourth, listen to soothing music. Music, no doubt, can bring your feelings and thoughts to a comfortable, serene and peaceful state. When your whole body feels comfortable, and then all you feel is thoughts in a world without color. One space, one place, dark and soothing music accompaniment, then that is a very good condition to be able to penetrate the subconscious mind. Fifth, imagine something that makes you comfortable. Next, from the dark room, quiet thoughts and soothing music, start imagining something that makes you truly feel peaceful, calm and happy. For example, you can go to a place that you like, such as a beach, waterfall, grass field or at the top of a hill. Imagine you are actually in that place, seeing and feeling what you like. Six, to plant the seeds of dreams. When you really feel relaxed, comfortable, light, free from all burdens, then sow the seeds of your dreams or desires. Here you have started to enter the alpha wave where dreams or desires should be implanted. Visualization can be likened to a photographer who takes pictures of an object, dreams, desires, and produces images in the form of negative films. Visual images of dreams and desires which are then processed into a photo, reality, reality. If the photographer does not take pictures, of course no photos are produced. Or when photographing objects that are not clear will also be difficult to describe. Likewise with the workings of the subconscious mind, it requires a clear and definite visualization, picture, or portrait of the desired reality. Therefore, when you really feel relaxed, comfortable, light, free from all burdens, then sow the seeds of your dreams or desires. First of all, define or clarify your dream or desire. Your dream must be very specific. Next, set a definite time target when your dream is achieved and imagine as if you've got it. Simple and technical suggestions are positive statements that are directed or implanted in you with an affirmation that you are capable, able, capable, strong, and so on. This suggestion must be done with trust confidence, emotional strength, and over and over again so that it is truly embedded in your subconscious mind. If you always say that math is difficult, you will never find it easy. The simplest facts always show a person will avoid unpleasant things, or give negative messages in his mind. 
And of course by dodging there's nothing to learn. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends, so we can continue to make more videos, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to press the bell button. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.